Today, DataRobot is introducing a reusable framework for developing your own end-to-end -end generative AI applications. This can be used for applications that have a generative and a predictive component to them, or generative only. The framework allows you to securely use proprietary documents and data to provide context to LLMs by converting that information to custom knowledge bases. We applied this framework to create the RFP bot that is featured in the video, but the concepts and processes are transferable to many other use cases. By looking under the hood of RFP bot, you'll see how the data robot platform is used to integrate best of breed components during development and to monitor the entire solution post development. This avoids creating a tangled mess of infrastructure and code and brings needed governance and oversight to large language models in your business. This diagram represents the workflow for developing a joint generative and predictive AI solution. And this version shows some of the many components that you might choose to use at each stage. Let's examine the application layer at the far right first. RFPBot saves valuable staff time in responding to detailed requests for proposal. Business users interact with the RFP bot via a Streamlit web application or via Slack. Both have the same three defining features. First, when a user enters a query, a response is generated that is augmented by the specific sources listed in the reference section. Second, a confidence score is provided. And third, the user can upvote or downvote the response and edit the text to improve the future performance. As the RFP bot is used in the course of business, the usage volume, the questions being posed, and the behavior of the underlying models are all being monitored. DataRobot provides operational metrics about volume and uptime, and also monitors the generative model's truthfulness, toxicity, cost, and any drift in the topical content of its output. That covers the user interface and the monitoring and governance aspect of this slide. Now let's look at the generative and the predictive model section. Under the hood, users are actually interacting with two models each time they type a question, a query response model and an audit model. The query response model is generative. It creates the answer to the query. The audit model is predictive. It evaluates the correctness of the answer given as a predicted probability. The multiple icons shown in the generative and predictive boxes convey that you can select from many different model types. DataRobot is open and interoperable, so you can experiment to discover what works best. In the case of RFPBot, we used ChatGPT Turbo 3.5 via the Azure OpenAI service and a logistic regression model applied to tokenized text, an amusing combination of new and old. Lastly, let's examine the knowledge base section. Remember the citations listed as resources? Those are citations of internal documents drawn from the knowledge base. The knowledge base is created by applying an embedding model to a set of documents and files and storing the result in a vector database. This step solves the problem of LLMs being stuck in time and lacking the context from private data. When a user queries RFPBot, context-specific information drawn from the knowledge base is made available to the LLM and shown to the user as a source for the generation. In the case of RFPBot, the knowledge base uses an open source embedding model from Hugging Face and the FAISS vector store. The whole end-to-end -end solution, integrating best-of-breed components, is built in this data robot notebook, which has enterprise security, sharing, and version control. By abstracting away infrastructure and environment management tasks, a single person can create an application such as RFPBot in hours or days, not weeks or months. Everything we do at DataRobot is about helping you derive more value from AI. And there's no other platform that combines both generative and predictive AI and allows you to freely choose the best-of-breed tools for any AI task.